Hi Ori, it's Travis here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we slayed some pirates, and we got their plants. And we found out that they are going to be attacking Booty Bay. So today, we are going to be slaying their leaders, I believe. So let's check out the quest. The Bloodsail Buccaneers, Fleet Master Seahorn in Booty Bay, wants you to kill Captain Stillwater, Captain Keelhaul, and Fleet Master Feralion. Blast the nerve of Feralin. He couldn't sail a skiff through Crystal Lake, let alone lead an entire fleet against us. Bloodsail Buccaneers will pay for their carelessness. Not that we know their plan. Now that we know their plan of attack, we can counter before they know what hit them. But why send the entire fleet to do the work of one brave adventuring party? Squilly Diddly, take some of your most skilled comrades out to Feralin's landing spot and assassinate assassinate the blood sale leadership their fleet will sink soon after okay so let's do that looks like this is going to be a tough one but we're giving it a try and we're not going with our uh with a little crew it's just going to be a solo party and i think we can do it this is like the best way to set up your this should be on my offhand. It's not. What the heck? Yeah, you gotta set it up when you're, like, swinging with... Because you have Wind Fury up, then it will automatically go on your offhand. I always have, like, trouble getting... Rockbiter Weapon on my offhand. Because it always goes on your main hand first. Then you gotta put it up twice. Alright, so let's head down to these ships. There's three of them. I think we will be... Uh, going on each of them. And trying to find their leadership. I think we'll be okay. Supposedly this is just a quest for one person, but... I mean, quest for a group or a party, but... We're gonna try it as one person. And it is yellow, so it shouldn't be too hard. And we're shamans. We're a shaman, so <laughs> we can get this done. We got our totems. Yeah, it looks like there is going to be a new WoW expansion. And the announcement is going to be in April. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm wondering who the next villain is going to be in WoW. It seems like they're running out. And I'm interested to see what this new team does with the story, so this is going to be their first chance at uh, attempting to create a new story for, uh, for WoW. We'll see what happens with that. I think it'll be all right. I hope it's good, because it's got to be good. Or um, I was in a lot of trouble. I hope they do, like, a reset. I think that's the best thing for them to do. And that can really change the story. They're also releasing a mobile game in March, I believe. Or announcing it. Interested to see what that's going to be like. A World of Warcraft mobile game. I think that could be pretty good. Not a big mobile gamer, though. But I've always thought that mobile games are going to be, uh, they're going to get better and better over time. And they're probably, and supposedly they're getting really damn popular. Alright, looks like she's going to run and fight us. Wait, they have a call, they have Call of Duty. 
on mobile, and it looks pretty damn good. Like, it's not bad at all. There's Gar Salter. Who the heck is he? Is he on our list? Our kill list? No. We're looking for captains. And fleet masters. They're just completely wrecking these guys. Alright, let's pop a gift of the Nard. They also have a, another BR game on mobile that's pretty popular. Yeah, PUBG. That game looks pretty good too on mobile. So I think mobile is going to be... Yeah, I think this decade we'll probably start seeing... Like, mobile won't be as much of a meme anymore, like right now. I don't know if you guys remember when they announced the Diablo mobile game as their like, big announcement for Diablo at a BlizzCon. And there was like a big meme, like, do you guys not have phones? And <laughs> all the PC gamers were like, what, a phone game? <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> like, phone games are always, like, looked down upon by, especially by PC gamers. But, um, I have a feeling they're going to get better over time. And this decade will be the decade when we actually start to see that. Be interesting if they... They started releasing, like, gaming phones. I think those are probably already out. I just haven't looked into it. Really, I would assume a gaming phone would just be, like, a... A tablet. There he is, Captain Keelhaul. Get him. Yeah, this quest isn't that bad. I think we can do it solo. None of these boss guys seem to be elites, so... Shaman totems are just too strong. Alright. So there we go, keel hauled down. I guess we'll board the next ship. We'll try to find the next captain. Like, really, the only mobile game <laughs> that I've really played is, uh, is, like, the that Snake game. <laughs> That's really it. And that was even on the old phones, before smartphones. I used to play that game. I never was a, ga a mobile gamer, man. I've had a couple of friends that have been addicted to Clash of Clans. And supposedly, Lost Ark is a kind of like a mobile style game. Oh my gosh, that just gouges me. Nice. And I can understand why they do so well. Like, if people get addicted to, like, a mobile-style game, and they start spending, like, crazy amounts of money for, like, upgrades and all this, you know, virtual stuff, then they could get addicted. And then once you, like, spend that much money, you kind of feel like, I gotta keep playing this game, you know? I put in, like, thousands of dollars. So I'm not a fan of mobile. But uh, it's coming to PC, clearly. I would consider Lost Ark as an, uh, as an accepted game now. And people are kind of... Uh, it's kind of scary, but pay, pay to progress is becoming... Uh, I wouldn't say accepted, but it's, it's not doing bad in North America and Europe. actually doing really well I think there's still like over 700 to 800,000 players still playing Lost Ark I know it hasn't been out that long but that's still pretty damn impressive that's holding a, a player base like that but the thing is that the comp the game's great it's a good game it's polished it's been out for two years combat's great Pretty solid progression curve. 
The only thing is you can pay to skip to skip it. And a lot of people do, and then they get a bunch of alts and they boost them up as well. There's iron patch. That's kinda cool. Also interested to see if there's ever gonna be a really good VR MMO. I think I think a VR MMO is gonna be like the next thing that people are gonna be like, oh my gosh. Like what's if they can ever you know I've said this millions of times, but if they could ever help with the motion sickness of VR Then um Yeah, I could imagine a VR MMO being I don't know, like the next like World of Warcraft. Oh man, this is bad. Okay, we gotta pop a uh, get to the Naru. At least we have totems down. This guy swings like crazy. Fleet Master for Alien. This guy's like the toughest one. Let's use a health pot so we can get a good vibe of what's going down here. We're like missing all of our hits. But the good thing is, is we have. Missing Storm right there is kind of rough. It will be okay. Just gotta keep getting Flurry procs and uh, Wind Fury procs. We got a minute on everything. There we go. We got a Storm Strike in there. I think we'll be all right. Did he run? Oh, you little baby! Where are you going? Don't be what a coward! He's a pirate. We're in a lot of trouble. This deckhand might kill us. We should run off the ship. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we should run off the ship. This isn't looking too good. We're dead. Yeah, that was a big mistake. Sir. Okay, good. Gotta love being a shaman. Oh man, that was rough. Yeah, I should have known to run when he pulled that guy. I'm just talking too much about the new VR MMO being like the next WoW. It's gonna be cool if they actually make a good one. And people can play for for longer than an hour without getting like motion sickness or two hours. Some people tell me they don't get it, but I don't believe them. I've never witnessed somebody like do a four to five hour gaming session on, a, on VR. But maybe there are people who just can handle it. Ship. I think this is where the Captain yeah, Stillwater will be. The Shaman just feels, I don't know. I'm having more fun on the Shaman now than on the Paladin. The Paladin hits pretty, has really big hits. Hits for like 40% of, of your health, but. I just, I, I just like the, the, the dual wielding better. I don't know. I just, I like more hits than one big hit. That's just me. Oh look, this ship has already been raided. So let's see if we can uh, do stuff down here. There's a warrior. It's like a warrior. Oh, he's a paladin. Let's see what he's got. He's level 50. One hell of an axe. King that just... This guy's got some nice gear. Okay, well, you know where we're going. Going right for this guy. We're going to fight him. Arcane Explosion. He's a mage. <laughs> okay, 
get him. We gotta get rid of this guy. He's a gift of the Naru here. Alright, so there we go. We have slayed all of the pirate leaders. Now we can turn this quest in. Wasn't too bad. I wonder the re the reason why they tell you to go with the group is because these guys are maybe elites in classic. Probably are. All right, so let's have a chat here. The Fleet Master Seahorn. Well met. Ah, uh, what a great day for the Blackwater Raiders. Three cheers to you, Squilly Dilly. We are going to be getting a male tunic. It's pretty nice, but not as good as our current chest. Goodbye. And that is the end of the Blood Sail Buccaneers quest. All right. Well, I guess we are going to be calling this episode here. Next episode, we may continue... Questing in Stranglethorn Vale. We have been falling behind on dungeons as well. So I guess we'll keep on trying to get Aldemon. And Moradon too. And we're getting kind of close to level 45, which is when I want to start getting prepared for Zulfurak. But that is the end of today's episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later. Later.